right. Uh, you, you got any scouts, any old unit members, anybody you can get up high that can kind of give us the situation from where you're at? Uh, I'm going to try and get hold of a few of them. Uh, people were on here. They said that the government shut out, shut down all, all right. airspace. Because, yeah, I, I guarantee that there's going to be a commu communication breakdown in the very near future. Then uh, you can do hey, brother. Hold of anybody on your end. You've got way more clout than anybody uh, in that realm right now. And if anybody was on the call yesterday, the name of the group, that was the Gadsden Air Force, Gadsden... Uh, uh, there was a Gadsden Air Force guy that from uh, Southeast, it was Ohio or uh, Indiana. I believe, that was it, offering, I, believe it was, I believe it was Gadsden Air Corps. Gadsden Air Corps, thank you. I do know somebody, a four-star fucking Marine. It's actually uh, my baby mom is my daughter's uh, grandpa. I can probably get a hold of him. I don't know if that'll work. The Gadsden uh, Air Corps, Utah. I have well, information from the you can find Gadsden Air Corps. Gadsden Air Corps. I need a couple of people in this room to go ahead and uh, hunt them down the best we can and get them back on this call. We had two reps yesterday. We need uh, as local as possible to uh, confirm some things for us, as well as the gentleman uh, that we've been speaking with. Uh, I know you're working on it, man, so try to get us some feedback here in the next half hour if you can. Uh, anybody else who doesn't have – hold on a second. If anybody doesn't have actual intel – uh, that they can confirm right now. I need you to press star six once again, mute yourself out, and uh, we need somebody who's got something impertinent to say. I don't want to hear you yelling at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to go with ladies first. Go ahead, ma'am. Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant? Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Jack Officer. I'm a Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah, I'm not going to discuss my name. All right, I'm about to mute a couple people out that can't follow instructions. Go ahead, ma'am. Hey there, I'm a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. I'm a JAG officer, and I'm not going to disclose my name. All right, go ahead, say that again. Okay, I'm a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. I am actually nice to meet you, a JAG officer. Okay. And I have a couple of my relatives that are international. Wait, can you say that again? That was actually kind of funny. Are you a JAG officer? That is correct. Okay, correct. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. The National Guard at this moment is waiting for orders to deploy for this for this uh, situation. Now, uh, based on your perceptions, how volatile do you see the situation? Uh, the situation will get bad if there's some sort of a person that comes up and starts shooting any weapons or what have you. Uh, one of my suggestions and recommendations would be keep this in an amicable way and start protesting. The best thing that people can do is actually take some uh, water supplies, uh, essentials to the people out there and the patriots out there and just support them that way and morally support these people is what we're trying to do here is what, what, what we should all be standing up for. We don't want to start something. Uh, I agree. That's pretty much what we've been putting out. We're suggesting that people do show up as peaceful protesters. Uh, we're not going to, you know, tell anybody not to bring a weapon due to the fact that this is a second amendment, uh, becoming a second amendment issue in some ways, uh, due to the fact that militias have called in reinforcements, ma'am. Um, yeah, I don't know if you've got any clout uh, still active and can catch any old unit members or, or, or commanders that did. But, uh, you know, let them know that, hey, we're on stand down if you're on stand down. The, the only people that I uh, foresee uh, causing any issues right now would be, uh, you know, uh, people that are being paid to, to cause problems. And uh, nobody wants any bloodshed. That's why they're there. They're sick of, uh, you know, Americans being pushed around. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, I, I think somebody up top on the de facto end needs to chime in and uh, pretty much, you know, say, hey, we're not going to do anything. If you guys don't do anything, you know, let's let this all end peacefully, hopefully, yeah, because uh, the there's, a, there's a lot of hotheads headed your way. Go after the, Speak up. the people that are supporting the rancher. They've got snipers all around them, and they've also got Blackhawks coming in. Holy shit. It's gonna be a fucking Can you confirm that, ma'am? Missouri, we've got a couple of Apaches headed your direction as well. Brian, is there any way that you can get a hold of me um, off this line? I'll fill, I'll fill you up some information that you may be per, may be important. 
There's a uh, special on Fox News right now about it. Uh, hang on, hang on, officer, ma'am. Uh, if, if if from the, the uh, JAG officer, if you could uh, actually contact me directly, uh, I'm, I'm hoping uh, privately you trust me to not get this out. But if you could add me on Facebook, that is my uh, quickest source of information outside of this uh, conference okay, call. Unfortunately, uh, you, I am not able to add you on Facebook. I understand. Because of the fact that I am blocked on Facebook for some reason. I, I understand. Uh, as of right now, I, th this I'm is pretty much. I'm going to give you an email address. I'm going to give you an email address. You're more than welcome to Fair email enough. me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Papa, Papa Sierra Papa Alpha November India Charlie at AOL dot com. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've cut in and out there, ma'am. Um, I'm going to let you get one more shot at that. If you could speak up. Papa Sierra Papa Alpha November India Charlie at AOL.com. All right. 10-4. All right. I appreciate your help, ma'am. Uh, feel free to chime in and keep us posted. If you can't get a hold of anybody, uh, you know, uh, up higher that can uh, cause some resolution or, or uh, you know, has some command authority letting everybody know that, you know, nobody wants us to turn into a situation. Uh, Feel, feel free to, to get a hold of them and, you know, let them know. We need someone up top that can say, hey, if, if we stand down and go away, will you guys go? That's pretty much what everybody wants. Excuse me, may I get a Facebook address? Uh, for me directly, uh, I, I'm just some guy hosting this call, man, trying to put some Oh, okay. Together. I thought uh, you said I thought you had a Facebook site. Sorry, I apologize. Oh, no, I, I mean, I've got my own, my own Facebook. Yeah, if you just type in the words uh, free the people, one word, I should pop up. My first name is Brian. Um, it's it, you know I, I've got a lot of windows open right now. Again, this just started off as a uh, couple guys making a conference call about the situation, and then we just started inviting people, and it's it's blown up from there, and it's turned into a good thing. Um, uh, I'm the, this is very intriguing. I'm about to um, mute back out. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, anybody else that wants to chime in, great. Hang on a second. Uh, everybody else, I need you to press star six on your phone right now. Hi. We're at well over 280 people, near and 300 people. It sounds like on this conversation, uh, I don't have accurate Hi. numbers because I can't refresh Where my screen right now. From? I still have information on the FAA you website. All right, hang on a second. A lot of people just chimed in, so uh, I want a couple of people. Even though you want to talk right now, just go ahead and hang on for like 10 minutes. Uh, there's uh, 30 people right now, at least, that are not muted. So. Uh, you know, we need a couple of you guys just to go ahead and take initiative. Please take your time. Let's all be courteous. Um, first guy that chimes in right now gets to talk. FAA website. I got a, I got a Hold question. on, FAA website. That was all you, man. Okay, I do have confirmation from their website that only relief aircraft operations under direction of the BLM are authorized in that airspace, and it is effective for 30 days. All right, so you guys got it fair and square. Uh, you know, that sounds not like a really uh, – what people altitude? are heading there. Um, again, nobody wants this 14, to blow up. Which is temporary flight restrictions in the vicinity of a disaster in hazard areas, which is what they're claiming this to be. To what altitude? 3,000 feet. Thank you. Question, question on Camo. Question on Camo. Uh, do we have hang on do a, we have cell communications to the area, or not? Uh, I, let me go out and give uh, the recent uh, repeater frequencies that are out there, as well as the uh, call number for the uh, person that volunteered their repeater. Uh, if we've got any ham operators out there that are able to utilize any of the impertinent frequencies to do so, uh, that would be really nice if you could, uh, you know, get on and, and repeat on and uh, get other people on board. If comms are down on that end, this is going to be one of the last resorts. So if anybody here knows Jack Diddley about, you know, ham and frequencies no. and VHF, I've got no. uh, repeater is repeater is four four three period eight five zero. I repeat four four three period eight five zero. And the call numbers that you're looking for is K is in kill, F is in Frank, the number five, Z zebra, Y yellow, G girl. That would be the call number you're looking for uh, to acquire that channel's comms. I think she's about 10 miles away from uh, ground zero. Uh, again, the repeater is 443 period 850. Her call is uh, K F five Z Y G. Uh, I got a couple people that I'm about to mute out because they don't follow directions. 
I need you to get to a quiet room if you're going to be on this call. Um, not, the, not the question. The question, cell phone service, on or off out there? Uh, that went off uh, when they reset the towers earlier today uh, for a short time, and they are back on as far as I know. But uh, to be honest, there's a couple of people missing from this call that were at ground zero, uh, although one nearby just chimed in, but I believe she was on a landline. So, uh, Diana, are you still on this call? All right, we've got somebody that was actually heading uh, to one of the routes where we heard there was uh, uh, a caravan of uh, armed armed groups headed in that direction. She'll be verifying that soon. We have another gentleman that went to go get supplies that has not chimed in that may not uh, be able to get back online right now. I'm not sure. Um, we had a, another person that was the liaison that chimed in yesterday on the last phone call uh, yesterday that lasted till what, three or something this morning. Um, he has not chimed in either, so I can't confirm that there is no cell coverage, but uh, things are kind of leaning in that direction right now. Uh, if anybody is at near, near ground zero, get them on the phone uh, so we can get I some confirmation. One. Go ahead. Uh, Who's this? Cell phone connection over there now. Hmm. <laughs> All the people oh, hold on. I need this. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I need the lady to speak. Go ahead. Thank you. We're actually on the phone with Mrs. Bundy right now, and she wasn't aware of the no-fly zone. She's just now finding it out, but there is no coverage yet. Uh, could you Where please give her this? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ma'am, if you're in, on the conversation with her right now, could you please give her this number and let her know that there's a large amount of leaders across the country that are on this phone call right now and that need to speak to her in the near future? We just All right, ma'am. When she chimes in, if you could recognize her voice and have her speak up and interrupt me, please. Uh, hey, Ash, can you put her on speaker? I'm on a Skype call. I call with Ashley, who's on the phone. Let's see right now. Hey, all right, we're getting a lot of echo because you're hearing the conversation and then it's repeating the conversation, so that's probably not going to work out if you're going to put her on speakerphone. Uh, I highly recommend if, if you don't mind, please uh, recommend her. If somebody could even hand her a throwaway phone if need be. Uh, but if she could, if she could chime in, that'd be great. Hold on. I'm going to keep you at the top of this phone as well. So, uh, uh, if you could go ahead and mute yourself out until you got that. I'm getting feedback from somebody else. Uh, his name's Jack. I'm muting you out, dude. Everybody else, if you could press star six on this uh, phone call, uh, just so you can mute yourself out so we can hear everybody loud and clear. We're getting some feedback. Somebody's yelling at their dog again. Uh, go ahead and press down, uh, sorry, pound six, I'm sorry, star six to uh, mute yourself out of this conversation. Uh, we surpassed uh, 300 people at one point here today, and uh, I've still got a lot of people that need to mute themselves out. Uh, if your last name's Lawrence, please mute yourself out. McGowan, go ahead and mute yourself out. Star six, guys, come on. I, I, Help me out here. I, Taylor, I Raceley, have, mute yourself out. I, I still have one question here. Can, can I speak for a second? I'm going to let you speak. Uh, is that Mike? Yes. Go ahead, brother. Hey, the, the, the one lady that was uh, basically reading off InfoWars, I, I just I, I wanted anybody else to chime in. I had one question as far as the cattle. If, if BLM removes all the cattle and they leave, everything's over. Is, is anybody going to stop them from stealing this man's cattle? Or, or, or is this uh, turned into a First Amendment deal? Boots, or, on the ground, or, boots on the ground so that they did an arrow shot. There was approximately 500 uh, sometime midday yesterday on, on, on the ranch. Uh, 350 of those have now been removed and we're down less than... Uh, 150, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in that vicinity, that word left or that they just plan on still taking. And uh, as far as anybody stopping them, can right, we, you that's know, what that, uh, that's what I'm we, asking. We, is, is, I, is, has, anybody, has anybody planned or are planning on stopping them from taking the cattle? Because, I mean, once, once they take the cattle, this is going to be over. They're going to take the cattle. They're going to leave. This is going to be done. Uh, apparently, they've auctioned off uh, a portion of them already. But uh, 
uh, you know, that's what we're trying to get is more boots on the ground to find out what, what what's the most important is what does the rancher want to do? We're here to back him up, not start any problems. What does the rancher want us to do? The rancher says we want a peaceful protest. Uh, he did make a call out for the militias, but uh, it, it all comes down to that. We're on rancher's property. We're in another militia's zone. Uh, they have not chimed in publicly, and if uh, anybody can get a hold of the Nevada militia of any way, shape, or form, uh, it, you know, those are guys that stood up to speak up for Second Amendment. Now, to me, in my eyes, we just need people from the locals and the ranchers. Let us know what you need us to do. The latest intel was they want us to have a peaceful protest, and that's the way it should remain. Um, uh, if anybody came out here to Illinois saying, hey, they're going to defend us, but they're going to cause more problems, you know, think about what if this was your house, mm -hmm. what would you expect to do? And, and you need to treat that just the same. You're on somebody else's property as a guest allowed to protest right now. Uh, if you just happen to bring a gun with you in an open carry state, as long as it's a legal weapon, nobody, nobody can really do too much. But if you're brandishing that weapon, you're wearing BDUs and you're acting like an ass, uh, that shouldn't be tolerated right now. Uh, what I'm concerned about personally, and I know other people chimed in, is you know black block uh, anarchist types uh, paid, uh, you know paid people to go in and cause problems. You know, it takes one jack has to throw a Molotov cocktail and turn this into World War Three, bro. So right. that's what we're and trying I, to avoid I, right I, now, man. We want to on the ground. And, and I, I, I want to throw out there for everybody listening: Nevada, you cannot drive in your car with a magazine in your weapon. You cannot do that. But again, if they're branding, brandishing their weapon appropriately, that makes all the difference in the world. Um, as of right now, if you're driving with it in the vehicle, think, thanks for the information. You keep that separate in your vehicle. Come in as a peaceful protester. They shouldn't be messing with you. And uh, I recommend you know cameras on the scene. Uh, if you can GoPro out, if you can uh, YouTube live or you know Ustream out, you know get that information out, man. We need to know exactly what's going on. Uh, and there's many different aspects of that. The best we can do is go yeah, with Nevada. You know, Nevada, you feedback. cannot. Nevada, mm. you cannot transport a weapon in your vehicle mm. with a magazine loaded. Just so everyone really knows that. True. What about uh, Brian? Missouri, Missouri check. Yeah. It's absolutely not true. You can you can open carry a loaded weapon in Nevada in your car, glove box, under your seat, in a holster, on your on your dashboard. That is that is absolutely mm. not true. Can I call All right, you? well, that's, that's uncool. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm going to start muting people. Mike, 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 Mike. Give yourself I, I'm a minute. Losing focus here. Losing focus here. Losing focus here. Three, three, nine, nine. I am, and uh, I want to say, I have a question about the Rangers cattle. Brian. All right, there's a couple people that are speaking up right now. I'm sorry that I got to mute you. I'm not letting you talk over the lady. Ma'am, if you could go ahead and speak up. Hi, sorry. I, I just heard your comment about the black bloc anarchist types coming in to throw Maltovs. That is not true. That is a myth being No, man, that is not what I said at all. Hang on. Hold on a second. One I second. said if that were to happen, that would cause some problems, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Don't, what, don't blow that into but, something else. But, no, but, sir, you also have people calling you all terrorists. I just want you to understand you don't want to perpetrate false information. That is not true. And that wasn't information. That was a but, statement. And we said that that could turn into that situation if the but wrong person shows up. I'm, I'm just saying that you're alienating your supporters. So that's not what they do. And, and that's all I'm saying to you, sir. That is it. So that's not what they do, and that's not what they're there for. People are going in to actually cover your story. I don't think that was Brian's goal with a statement at all. People Brian. are going in to cover your story to make sure that it's covered on all angles from the so-called left to the so-called right, which I, you will I, I'm actually a journalist, and based on what I heard, I, I, don't, I don't think that he was saying anything. Okay. Uh, I guess no, my comment was specifically yes. saying that is the exact opposite of what we want. We don't want somebody to come in and start a world of hurt. Uh, if anybody misunderstood me, so be it. But I did not make a statement that that was happening right now. I made a statement that I hope to God that doesn't happen, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Brian, I have John in Tennessee. Uh, I got Missouri and John. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to let Tennessee speak up. Uh, go ahead, brother. Yeah, Brian, my name is John. I'm a retired Army officer. Uh, I was uh, intel for quite some time. Uh, but what you said is entirely possible. Now, where'd he go? Hello? Hello? Can I see what supplies you'd like to put this? 
That's scary. I love what you just cut off. Brian, can you hear me now? Hey, is there, there was uh, the gentleman from Tennessee, the intel officer, you were just trying to speak. Hello? Yeah, Brian, can you hear me? Yes, sir, go ahead, please. Okay, somehow I got muted out. Um, but this machine would like nothing more than something like that to happen. Not, the, not that it has, but there is the, they would love to see that happen. To do That's what we're trying to avoid, sir. Absolutely, and we need to try to avoid that. The problem that is possible, and it's been done, if you saw the Tea Party protest years ago, there will be people in there who want to start it to cause the problem, to cause then the BLM, the, the Rangers, and whoever else out there, the National Guard, to react against the militias, against the protesters. That is entirely a possibility. It's in their... It, uh, maybe I should say it this way. I'm, I was an Army officer. It's in our manuals um, to do stuff like that. It, if <clears throat> It's entirely a possibility, and they are, they are being trained for that right now. Uh, my son is also a National Guard officer. Uh, they're going through this kind of training against the, U, uh, the civil, uh, U.S. citizens. Uh, we have to be real careful out there. We have to keep it calm. And if we see anybody out there who is not keeping it calm, they need to be pulled out. If they're one of us, they will calm down. If they're not, they need to be carefully restrained and turned over to the authorities. But this is a powder keg, and we cannot give them the match. They would that's love that's that. That's kind of why exactly why we're having this conference call, man. Absolutely. I mean, we're asking people to put out flyers uh, to the people that are there, boots on the ground. We've got uh, a couple liaisons that are working directly with the ranchers. Uh, we're trying to get the rancher's wife on the phone here in the near future. I'd like an update on that for the two people responsible. Uh, I'm sorry, you're not responsible, but I put you on the duty for that. Uh, we're trying to get the uh, rancher's wife on the phone. It really comes down to a few different things. We need to do what the rancher wants to do. It's their property. They're the one who put the call out. That's why people are going there. The rancher wants peace. The rancher wants everybody to calm down. They want a protest to show how wrong this is, but they do not want violence. They don't want this to escalate, and I completely agree with you. Uh, We've got a lot of headheads that are headed out there that want to show support, but they need to understand on how to do it. And if you're not coming out there, uh, balls to the walls, and you're coming as a concerned protester, so be it. Bring supplies and things of that nature, but keep, keep your munitions legal. Uh, and, and, and be as peaceful as humanly possible. And at this point, I'm, you know, some of me wants to start deterring people from going down there just because it sounds like there's going to be too many people down there and it's going to become, excuse my French, a clusterfuck in the next 24 hours. Amen. My Brian, I have a brother. comment about communication. Very too here. Uh, I got visual sighting on at least uh, four. There were, just, there were hauling out. And uh, they're going over. They flew over Whiteman, and once again, I couldn't get a hold of anyone in Whiteman to confirm what's going on. So uh, once again, I'm going to ask people in Colorado and Kansas and states in between Missouri and uh, Nevada to go ahead and uh, make sure you look up and make and see if you see any jets, helicopters, etc. Because this activity is not normal for this type of area, and they are all heading westbound. And uh, still trying to wait on confirmation from the Humvee who said I-15. Uh, uh, you know, since we've got somebody out there, uh, can you give us uh, a, a little? Okay, let's say let's use a little bit of algebra here. Based on the last coordinates, based on the miles per hour, based on their direction, uh, you think you could give me a general description or general area of where that convoy might be headed? I lost didn't I? Hello? All right. Well, I'll assume you'll get back to me, man. Um, all right. So anybody else wanted to chime in? Yeah. Uh, Minnesota here. Hello. Uh, all right. Hold on. Minnesota, you just spoke up, and then we'll let the lady speak. Hang on. Uh, Minnesota, right. go ahead. Uh, this is Chris Kranz, Bloomington, Minnesota. Chris Kranz. All right. Hang, hold, that, hold on one second, brother. Hold on one second. I need everybody else 
to press star six on their phones right now. As much as you want to be in the next conversation, I need you to mute yourself out. It's only common courtesy. We're trying to get some things achieved here. I'm hearing a lot of echoes, a lot of wind. Hit star six on your phone right now, or I'm going to do it for you. Minnesota, go ahead and speak up. All right, brothers, sisters. Uh, basically, you know, when we come down there, if you're coming from out of state, you take advice from the veterans that live there because they know the laws. You understand that they know the way of life out there, and you are to respect that when you get out there. And we all know that because anybody who's coming is a concerned citizen, and they know the rule of law and the code of conduct. So, you know, as much as talk has been had about that, we we understand. So now we can we can we can move on to actual actual support. You know, just like everybody understands, if you're coming down there. You know that it's not about offensive maliciousness. It's about defense, and that's it. And if anything, you abide by the will of the ranchers. That's who you answer to, and you answer to the commanders. And there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And that's my piece. You are, you are 100% correct, brother, and uh, I hope you and I get in contact again. I can tell by your accent that we're, we're, uh, we're, we're definitely kindred types, and uh, I appreciate you chiming in. And, uh, you know, I want everybody to take what he just said to heart, man. We're on somebody else's property. What they say goes. You know, he has by all rights just to drop a, his own personal nuke on all you <laughs> for being on his property exactly. uh, in the first place exactly. causing trouble. So. We need to respect each other Comment. as human rights here. That's what this is about, human rights. It's about respecting each other. It ain't about showing our, showing our nuts here. This is about respecting each other's sovereignty and each other's human rights codified in our documents. And that's, that's my piece. Continue on. Yeah, but no, I, love, I love what you just said, man. We, uh, we need more people out, to, uh, out there like you thinking like that. And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely 100% agree. Uh, you know, just to let people know that the uh, local reservation has also opened their doors. So if we're trying to get the, uh, the, tribal, the tribal courts to show up, give us a quick call and uh, let us know what you are willing and what you need done and how we can assist and make things better and, uh, you know, coordinate efforts to, uh, to to have some sort of peaceful resolution here. And uh, I, I really appreciate what you just said, sir. Uh, if the people from that tribal uh, tribal council have uh, gotten on the phone yet to offer uh, help for some of the refuges that are coming out there, uh, we'd be glad for that tribal office to chime in here in the near future. I know we had a couple people working on that. Uh, speak up now or forever hold your peace for 10 minutes. Confiscating guns, communication information. Sorry, what was that about communication information? That's pretty much what this call is all about, bro. Uh, from Facebook, I don't know how um, the, the, Buddy, the Bundy Ranch uh, Facebook page says, once again, the cell service as well as Internet communication in this area is not being shut down. It is just a rumor. We have Internet and we have phone service. All right, 10 I appreciate that. Um, you know, again, we had confirmation that a couple people had lost uh, power, or sorry, had lost their uh, uh, abilities for just a short time, and then they, they were back on. But uh, if you don't mind keeping us posted on that, bro, I'll let you chime back in any time and uh, let us know if that does go out, and uh, that would help. And we do have... Uh, yeah quadruple confirmation that that's a no-fly zone over that immediate area, and that's up for the next uh, few days to a week, so I don't know. Um, what about the gun confiscation? I'm sorry. Uh, Minnesota would like to add this is all about confirmation. If it's not confirmed, we don't act. That's my take. What can Ryan? be done from a, a an alternative media kit to run my own site? I was waiting. Huh? Can I try and tell in Missouri here? Uh, Missouri, go ahead, brother. I got to hey, – hold on. Before you do that, I had a couple people that wanted to speak as well. Uh, everybody else, I need you to press star six on your phone and mute yourself out. I'm hearing some side conversations. I'm hearing a radio, some wind. Yeah, you, ma'am, ma'am, yeah, you. You're the one we're talking to right now. I need you to press star and then six on your phone. Ma'am, ma'am, this isn't your conscious speaking. Hello? 
I'm on his side, but they um they declared a <laughs> Missouri, uh, you ahead. just got yourself muted. I feel like man called Mueller. Goodbye. Uh, All right. Uh, so there's a couple of people that right now. Missouri, the floor is yours, man. I, uh, I encourage anyone in the area to download an app for uh, iPhone or Android. It's called Scanner Radio, and it goes through broadcastify.com, and you can get through local police, police precincts, uh, highway patrolmen in the area, sheriffs, etc., on your cell phone, as long as you have Wi-Fi or other types of service, it works very well. As long as the servers are up on it, I'd check it out if you're interested uh, in that. In the area. I actually had that service, bro. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to look for uh, yeah Scanner Radio. Uh, it's an app, just like he said. I believe it's free. There's a pro version, but the regular version, yeah. I bet you could hunt down to uh, Nevada yeah. right now. You're looking for Clark County and surrounding. They usually have federal, uh, county, and yeah. local settings. Uh, I believe you you probably want to look at the EMT one uh, as well because they're going to get the first report if there's any 911 calls uh, yeah. outside of that. Uh, make sure you find the right. That was really good. Yeah, that was really good feedback, brother. If uh, if if you happen to use that on any other phones right now, if anybody wants to verify which channels are getting any live feeds right now, uh, you can go ahead and chime in here in a minute and let us know, man. Um, I'll go, I'll, there was a. I'll go check out the live feeds and see which ones are right, and I'll report back here in a minute. All right, bro, catch me in a little bit. Uh, Ma'am, uh, you were trying to speak. Go ahead. I had a question. Oh, him. Hello? Uh, Hello? We got two ma'ams. I'm going to call you Ma'am 1 and uh, Melon Kaniko. You're after these two ladies. Hi. I want to give some information about BLM. Go ahead. I'm going to read this. Uh, is actually BLM is actually a sub-corporation of the United States Incorporated a private foreign-owned offshore corporation since its last incorporation in 1925, copyrighted, trademarked, and registered in Puerto Rico. Under the Reorganization Act of Washington District of Columbia, by its own private business charter, neither the BLM nor any other federal corporate agency has lawful legal authority, jurisdiction, or interstate nexus within 50 state geographical <laughs> landmass. Jesus Christ. I right, can put it on your Facebook that. page, but now your Facebook page has been blocked. Um, I'm on mine the Bundy has? page. Wait, wait, mine has? Yeah, Raven Rhino Hunter Roulette. I was on there. I can't get back on your Facebook page. I just got on there. I, I, I am. Okay, well, it's not letting me pull you up, and I'm trying to put information on there. All right, and uh, hey, everybody, we've got comment from we've got, hold, hold on a second. Uh, we've got well over 300 people here on this uh, conversation, which is really great, showing a lot of patriots, uh, a lot of leaders from different groups that are coming through. Um, this capacity of this room is actually 1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and ask everybody that's on this call if you can send some text messages, you want to send emails, you want to get, get other people on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's see this room double here in the next little bit. And if you know any leaders, concerned citizens, guys that are posting stuff about Nevada right now, that want to know exactly what's going on. Uh, obviously, this is a really cool hub and been a really cool tool for people. Uh, we've, we've remained completely civil as possible and uh, uh, pretty polite and courteous, so I'm hoping we can all keep this uh, you know, modus of operandi up right now. Um, there was another lady that was trying to speak up, and then I was going to let uh, Menekaniko talk. I wanted to ask a question. Uh, I'll try. Okay, and, and to anyone else that's out there, <laughs> Uh, okay. Of course, in lieu of what is going on, it's early April 2014. Does, does anybody out there think that this may also, yes, I believe that this is real, I've been watching, but does anybody think that it may also be a type of Brannigan? A type of what? Brannigan. Define. A Brannigan is... Um, it's an old term. It's an old term, like at the turn of the century, when they were in a fist fight. Like they'd have a fist fight over here, uh, but they'd have something, a Brannigan, going over there to keep everybody uh, so they wouldn't see what's going on over here. Right. A faint or a, uh, in other words, a ruse. Uh, also, also a type of. It, I'm not saying it's not real, but put it also 
a type of Brannigan. That's a good point. I look at it as an attempt to disband militias as well. That's what I was thinking, to find out who people were, this, that, and the other, um, document them. Uh, this is really, I mean, these people in Texas have been pulled over, those people in Oregon. I mean, how do they know where they are? How do they know that they're driving down the road? I don't understand all this. How are they finding these people? What part of Texas? Red River? I don't know. I, I, just, I just heard that the, uh, a, a militia in Texas was stopped, and then there was one in Oregon that was stopped. And, I mean, how did they know they're driving down the road? They're not even near that yet place yet. What, what, what? NSA. It, yeah, if you really have to ask how people are being tracked, come on now. I mean, this call is probably the most listened to call. That uh, I agree, but I agree. If I were to go, I wouldn't say anything. I would just go. I wouldn't tell nobody. I wouldn't write on my Facebook. I would just go. Yeah, but, but you know, you, your, your cell phone also talks to you. Talks to the network. And well, I only have land. We, I live in the National Forest. We don't get cell service here, and I probably wouldn't take one. I'm very not really hep on them too much. I, I, I can answer one and, and maybe dial out, and that's it. I'm really you not know, in. You know, there's. Uh, there's Trust no me, I'm from that service. generation. I'm old. We there's don't no, really are not in. But yet, we are patriots. No, there is, there is no cell phone service in Clark County, Nevada. And that thing, uh, you know, a couple people are getting yourself muted for feedback. I'm going to give you a chance, though, to go ahead and press star six. If you're not directly in this conversation right now, go ahead and press star six and help us out. We need you to mute your phone out. I'm getting all kinds of feedback. Just mute yourself out and be polite and courteous. Speak to each other civilly as you have been. And uh, we've got well over 300 some odd people that just chimed in. Uh, and this is great. You know, it doesn't get any better than this. But uh, you know, as far as impertinent conversation, we're waiting for feedback from three people. Uh, Diana, your time's up. I need to hear from you. I've got the tribal office that needs to chime in. And okay. if you've got boots on the ground, if you're actually boots on the ground, I need you to speak up. Everybody else, I need you to hit star six right now and uh, go ahead and just mute yourself out until you've got something super impertinent to say. Hey, buddy, you there? Can I ask a question? Uh, Malcanico, hold on, hold on, hold on. Malcanico, you were next. Hold on a second. Okay. Malakaniko, you are next. Okay, with Paul, right. Ca with Paul Castify, I could definitely confirm that Mesquite, Nevada, and Southern State Police Region, those feeds were active this afternoon, but not as busy. They are active. Uh, yeah, Missouri here, and I also checked that out on the... Um, scanner app and all those feeds are up right now and there's highway patrolman command post also is up right now with 120 listeners so if you want to tune into that real quick that should be helpful that's a command post you hear it Zeta? yeah a little bit alright uh, I need people to keep plugging away on that tribal office uh, Diana if you can chime in I know you're heading there uh, we need somebody to come. There you are. Hold on, guys. Uh, Diana, are you watching for the convoy still on? I'm watching the freeway right now, and all I'm seeing is a bunch of traffic. The only other thing I can think of is if they decided to come in the back way through Pahrump and head up to the back end of Crete, you go in that way. We've got the people who are on the back roads that can uh, report back and see if they're heading that way. because anybody in Pahrump. Yeah, all right, keep that going. Keep that going, guys, and keep sharing this conference call. The more boots on the ground we can find, uh, the more locals that we can get in touch with, the better off we're going to be in the near future. Yeah, if you know anybody who's active in the military that can confirm anything and get us in the phone, uh, num get in this phone number right now. It's all being recorded. Um, you can play back this uh, conversation later. If you've just chimed in in the last half hour or so, uh, go ahead and you guys share this too. This is a pretty important call, man. Uh, I need you to press star six on your phone right now. Uh, if you're just chiming in to listen, uh, if you don't have direct, impertinent, boots on the ground information, if you're not on any of the last four projects that just went out in the last two hours, uh, just go ahead and press star six. If you do have impertinent information that most likely hasn't been covered in the last couple hours, Go ahead and chime in later, but as of right now, uh, Malacantino, you have the you have the floor, sir. 
Can we get the information the lady gave about the BLM? Can we have her say that again so we can find it? Uh, as far as, yeah, yeah. Um, ma'am, you, you were just speaking a few moments ago. If you could chime back in. Uh, gentleman only got the second half of that. This is me. Okay. You want me to read about the BLM? Is that Not what you so need much read, but where where can I find this information, or can I give you uh, an email? Just, Facebook, are, in, in, are you on Facebook? Okay, uh, go to. Can you get on Brian's Facebook page? I, I need a, I need a, an address or a link or something something. Uh, free the people. Yeah, and if you, I'll tell you what, stay on, the stay people. on the phone, stay on the phone, and get on the page now, and see if you've got on the page, and I'll get on the page. I'm having Deborah send me the link because I can't pull it up. I was just on it, and they won't let me pull it up. Deborah, I got a girl gonna, she's gonna send me the link to Brian's page, so then I'll have it. All right, Temple. Okay. Thank you. Um, but, but yeah, we're still looking for resources. As of right now, the tribal office uh, is not answering anymore on the emergency number. They can't get through. So, Diana, I'm going to ask if we could prioritize, although that caravan situation is pretty important, uh, we need to be able to direct people to that tribal office. Uh, I'd be willing to uh, put, put it together that if we can get uh, someone at that office to, uh, to verify that they're willing to let people in, uh, you might be the one to do it. All right, done. I'll keep calling them. All right, and then uh, it, keep going with the call tree to, to let. We need to get some locals, so if you can tell some locals to go ahead and keep us posted and on this conversation. Uh, we've got a, uh, a thousand people, and we are not even close to peaking. We're at about 350 now. Uh, uh, there was another lady that was trying to chime in. Go ahead, ma'am. Hello? Hey, hang on, brother. Uh, go ahead, ma'am. Hi, my name's Candy, and um, I'm on Facebook right now, and I just wanted to read to you an emergency alert that I see here. It says the feds are sending over 100 DHS personnel MRAP vehicles, two Humvees, and the rest have mounted machine guns and armor plating. Cliven may not know this. These messages were hijacked from federal communications by the other federal workers. This is not a public announcement. If you know how to edit this data, please call them immediately. The feds are saying that 30,000 private militia are headed that way to oppose the feds. I do not fully trust the sources, but this info about Cliven seems to be on the level. The situation has much negative potential. If you have been able to have this done, please phone me and book the numbers. Ms. Bundy, how much is the source on that? In Missouri here, and I just spotted three more helicopters due westbound of Whiteman Air Force Base, uh, and I need confirmation from Colorado, Kansas, et cetera, people in there to see if they're still heading uh, westbound in that direction. So if anyone in Colorado, Kansas, et cetera, on the way to uh I'd love for you to chime in and give some intel on that. Uh, Ms. Bundy, how many um, how many DHS personnel did you say were there? Information on and the Chinese are going to develop the land. Personnel, you got there, Bundy. All right, uh, hold on. Uh, let me go ahead and interrupt real quick, you guys. If it's coming from Facebook, I don't want to hear about it right now. There's a lot of BS. There's a lot of shares. There's a lot of people uh, blowing things out of proportion. If it's not boots on the ground, data intel, or actual viewing, or actual secondhand verifiable information in some way, shape, or form, don't take that to heart. I, although it's quite a possibility, I don't want anybody to get uh, into panic mode right now. Uh, we can already verify that there are, you know, different uh, uh, authority personnel of various groups headed in that direction, as well as uh, other Second Amendment supporting groups and volunteers and protesters of sorts. So uh, again, we're trying to keep a highly volatile situation as calm and cool as collected as possible. And I'm just going to say again, if you know anybody headed out that way uh, to tell them to come in as peaceful protesters, that's what the ranchers want and that's first priority right now. Uh, we have heard that uh, we're, we're trying to get some refuge from a tribal office that has volunteered some uh, 
some board and, and a place to go where they're federally protected, which is really huge and very important right now. They're approximately 10 miles or was it 10 minutes away from Ground Zero. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. If you know people that are headed there, I would highly recommend that they find that as a resource and come in uh, as cool, calm, as collected as possible and uh, uh, you know try to offer any consolation they can to uh, other people and direct them in that direction. Uh, apparently around the actual Ground Zero, uh, apparently they're supposedly blocking people at this moment from getting in there. So we need to miss, you know, we need to redirect, redirect traffic probably to protected tribal office land. Uh, just throwing that out there. If you know anybody headed out that way, have them highly recommend uh, going to the reservation first. We're still trying to get full confirmation on that, but uh, going to Ground Zero at this point uh, probably not the greatest idea. Uh, we have heard that a couple groups did get arrested, uh, Oklahoma and uh, a group in Texas. Uh, some were released, but there are some people still in custody. Uh, the second one was that they're trying to grab people's guns that are headed in there. That's not totally confirmed yet, but leads us to the suspicion that that's a possibility just due to the fact that uh, if they've been arrested, they're not calling in on this phone call. We don't know, you know. So uh, if anybody else has any impertinent information, uh, I'll let you speak up in a second. Otherwise, I need you to press star six on your phone and uh, just be polite and uh, hang tight. Just go ahead and press star six. We're getting some feedback again. Uh, you know, if you're paying attention to the phone call. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let Colorado speak yeah, up. Hold on. 10 minutes or 10 calls north, they said there's a reservation. They want the tribal office to call in. All right, buddy, hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, I'm just going to mute that guy out. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Uh, Man, you wanted to speak up? Uh, Colorado. Colorado, yeah, go ahead. Colorado. Um, can you give me an ETA? I've been standing outside with my eyes on the side. We have heavy cloud cover, but I haven't seen or heard anything. Is there an ETA? Uh, Missouri, how long ago was that? Can you confirm? Uh, it was about uh, 20 minutes ago, so the ETA on that would be, uh, I don't know how fast, they weren't going very fast as they were leaving Air Force Base, but I don't know how quick their speed was picking up, so I would estimate about an hour, because they got to go through Kansas and stuff too, depending on if they pick up speed. Uh, I'm having a little bit of cloud cover over here too, but I am seeing, the, uh, I've seen a few of these uh, jets going in the echelon formation. So um, just keep looking out for the next hour and two hours or so and make sure because I need to get confirmation that if they're actually heading in that direction. We'll but do. Thank you. We'll do. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, if we've got any boots on the ground, I need you to chime in in the next five. Uh, everybody else, we're still getting some feedback here, man. I need you to press m uh, pound six. If you hear the words muted, then you're okay. If you don't hear the words muted, do it again until you hear muted. Pound, uh, sorry, star six. And this is Colorado. Uh, Colorado, secondary. Uh, now, uh, I'm, I'm just going to reevaluate. We've got a Missouri one and a Missouri two. I've now got a, a female is number one, Colorado. And sir, you are Colorado number two. Go ahead. Okay, Colorado number two is up. Um, I'm uh, a few miles near Buckley Air Force Base, and um, it's a clear night, and uh, I don't see any air traffic. So that's my report. All right, uh, uh, Gonzalez? Missouri here, and uh, there's heavy air traffic coming out of Whiteman Air Force Base. Uh, uh, if they're coming over there, they might land at that Air Force Base in Colorado, but uh, we'll see. But we'll see. It's still, they're in Kansas right now, by now. But I'm going I'm to go outside with the telescope here in a few minutes and see if I can spot any more. But I haven't been hearing that much going over my house at the moment. All right, 10-4, we appreciate that. Uh, keep chiming in. Uh, Colorado, too. Colorado, too? Colorado, too, is here. Um, yeah, I'll keep my eyes scanned up here. I uh, am usually right under uh, the traffic, so uh, I will let you guys know if I hear anything. All right, Colorado 1 and 2, if you could do us a favor and uh, go ahead and start up a call tree over there. Uh, if you've got any associates spread out throughout your region, if you could uh, have them report to you if they've got any confirmation of any of that, please. Yeah, we're, we're aware of that now. We're, uh, I am a nose keeper also, so um, we're we're – monitoring the situation as is. All right, 10-4, feel free to have those guys chime in as well. 
uh, any the quicker we get the data, the better off secondhand stuff. There's no way I'd love to hear some Blackhawks uh, live and proud right now. Uh, okay, ahead, one uh, more one more thing. Um, can you ahead. can you can you verify that ham frequency uh, down there also? Uh, once more. Yes, uh, for all radio repeaters, and I also have a call uh, four four three point eight five zero, and so you're looking for call. Uh, I cannot confirm or verify. That was just the numbers I was given, but I've got a uh, uh, call letters was KF5ZYG. Uh, I believe that was the repeater number I gave you prior, and then the call letters again, KF5ZYG. Yeah, I, uh, ZYG, I is that right? It's in Thomas. Uh, no, ZYG is in girl. Oh, okay, girl. Better, Copy that. Thank you. You guys better have four. Uh, right. spread that around. 73. You guys better have a, uh, you know, portable short wave. Right. Brian. Uh, hang on one second. We got a couple of people trying to speak over each other. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let that gentleman go ahead, sir. No, you guys, I, I suggest you guys carry portable shortwave. Uh, uh, some of us do, some of us don't. I've got three right. spectrums on right now. Great. Be careful with that. I understand. I'm not giving out my call letters anytime soon, man. I, I got to stay on the way that I'm on. But, uh, uh, ma'am, you wanted to chime in? Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I, Hi, Brian. I, I, Could you have the... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, do, you, do you have anybody representing OAS? <laughs> you ever hear of OAS? <laughs> Just wondering... If it's I operation, a it's guy. operation American Spring. Okay. I was just curious. Is this, is this about to elevate into a combat mm -hmm. situation, yes or no? Uh, he's uh, waking up. There's no way to tell. Uh, if, I could, if I could make a suggestion to you guys, if they're confiscating weapons on the way in, why don't everybody find find spots 50 miles out to have meeting spots? And then you travel in as big groups, and if they, if they try to take your weapons, they don't have the right to take your weapons. So at that point, at that point, it's a standoff. Don't travel in two people at a time, six people at a time. Travel in in groups. That's smart. All U.S. students have the right to be armed. Right, exactly. They're not allowed to take your weapons, and, and you have the same rights as the police officer. Does anyone know if that is actually true? We're headed up from Winnemucca, Nevada. We are coming armed. Bundy Range. Now, here, another issue is you, you guys are putting this number out on, on Facebook. You, you, chances are there's some CIA, whoever the hell they are, it's chiming in, they're listening to everything. You guys got to find a way to communicate on a private line and find spots to meet outside yeah, you of the can, location. This is what's happening in Nevada. I'm not talking in. I'm listening in to what's happening in Nevada right now. The government's the billions. They're listening to everything. There's there's definitely some trolls on this line right now. Well, is, is anybody down there right now? Is anybody actually down there where this is happening? On the phone. On the ground, en route, as we're speaking, but in Kansas, we need eyes in the sky to verify if the helicopters and uh, jets are flying over Kansas. And then we have eyes in Colorado, Colorado 1 and 2. They'll be looking, but if there's anybody in Kansas, we need them to chime in and let us know what the cloud cover is, it, what the cloud cover is, if there's any uh, unusual aerial activity going on. Yeah, I know. Hell, I'm, I'm in southeast Kansas. Did you guys get the number from Arapa Tribal? No. I have something to say. Everybody on the ground, you can get the sheriff, the Clark County Sheriff, to deputize everybody on the ground. 
the sheriff. The Clark County the Sheriff has the authority to deputize all Patriots. He's not on our side. He's not on our the side. The sheriff isn't on the Patriot side. Uh, he is. Hello. No. 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 He, he isn't. isn't. He's not. He isn't. Right. He, he said. He said bring body back. Can you, the sheriff. Can you hear me? No. Uh, the sheriff, yes, the yes, sheriff yes. is on your side. It was the commissioner that was not on your side. No, the sheriff. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes, you can be heard. I'm calling from Las Vegas, Nevada. Can you hear me? Yes. There's a lot of communication. Okay, be advised. Be advised. My name is Brian Watkins. I live out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Trust me when I tell you, Sheriff Gillespie out here for Las Vegas, Nevada is not on the Patriot side. He is a weak politician. He is not on our side. Trust me when I tell you that. Then they gave the she wrong information on the radio today. I'm sorry. No, they didn't. Don't, don't, don't man, don't you, man, you are heard. correct. The county commissioner spoke out against <laughs> Sheriff well. Sheriff oh, Mack cool. is on the Patriot side. Sheriff Mack is Arizona. on the Patriot side. He is supposed to be yes, going Yes, Sheriff down Mack there. is, but I thought that I because I called I called Gillespie today. I called all the numbers. Does and, but Gillespie, does any, let me say my understanding does for the Fundy Ranch is Gillespie is supposed to meet with Clive Bundy in the morning at 9 a.m. tomorrow say. morning, and we'll have to see how it goes then. Should not go into this. I don't know where the host of this conference went, but you should not go into this looking for problems. It has That's to be solved. You, you have to go to Nevada. We're trying to avoid problems, problems. It's a free but it's a free they will not fire upon deputized people. That's what I have to say. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I have a Sheriff, Sheriff Gillespie could tell the feds to get off the land and leave. It's state property. It's not federal property. He has yes, that he jurisdiction, can. but he has not taken the responsibility for that jurisdiction. Because he was so, a politician, he was all in the out of office, and he is a politician. He is not on our side at all. That's true. Don't That's have, true. Yeah, but anybody, anybody going there, going there, looking for a confrontation, must report to the Nevada militia and to Sheriff Mack. They will tell you how to how to to go about this in a peaceful manner. And we'll stage you if it gets worse. So remember that. We want to do this peacefully. We don't want to foment anything whatsoever. We do not want another Ruby Ridge. We want to keep this professional. We want to keep this under God's law and under Maxim's law. We do not want to instigate nothing whatsoever so they can come up with some stupid asinine reason to violate us. We do not that's want that. We do not engage and engage upon. That is in the Constitution. That is in the maxims of law. My name is Brian Watkins on Facebook. I know what the hell I'm talking about because this is what I do. I'm in a lawsuit with the Sheriff's Department against five officers and we're going to be suing the District Attorney for violating the RICO Act and that's going to be coming real soon and that's going to be public as well. They violate the laws Every day. The internal affairs department are very corrupt as well, and we got them on a bunch of lies as well. And that too will be public pretty soon. Do not trust them at all. Absolutely, I absolutely agree with that. But again, again, for out-of-staters, for out people from out-of-state, please do what the, the Nevada militia says and what, what Sheriff Max says to keep we, this We understand. We understand. The gentleman is correct. Here's the thing. The, uh, this this area was a soft target with all those corrupt politicians. Corrupt politicians. That would be nice. Dude. These corrupt politicians suck. All of them. All of them. Off. None all of them. The Facebook this, is blocking issue, all issue, this, communications this, that this, have to this, do with this, Brian. This issue isn't supposed to end with us preventing them from taking over the Bundy Ranch. They're all corrupt and they're taking over the country. They, we don't just have to stop them. Web. Where is Brian? Brian, where is Brian? That we've Excuse lost him. You. We've lost We're Brian. Brian. Okay. Brian. I'm with the Oath Keepers. Please, one at a time. Yes, absolutely, but we don't. All right. The Oath Keepers is a large organization in the U.S. Okay, please, everybody, one at a time. Okay. Hold on. We need, uh, there's, I just spotted another echelon formation over why he's going well. I hope Brian's time. okay and he didn't get nabbed. Hold up, everybody. Let the, let let the guy from Colorado speak. That's that's talking about the formation. Uh, hey, everybody, he starts this. Missouri, Missouri, they're leaving Whiteman Air Force Base right now. Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. 
They're leaving. Uh, I already spotted about four echelon formations, several helicopters, some jets heading westbound, and ETA. They should be reaching Manhattan by now by the first wave, and there's been several waves going on. So Manhattan, Topeka, Kansas, and Kansas City should be having a wave over of jets and helicopters as we speak. That's why I'm needing uh, confirmation from people in Kansas and ETA in Colorado about uh, 45 minutes. Uh, those in Colorado be watching now. Uh, I don't know if those are going to land at the Air Force Base in Colorado, but Colorado 1 and 2 could you give me more information. This is Colorado 2. Over. I will keep my eyes open. 73. Appreciate it. Question for the host. And, and three other spots. Where's Colorado 1? Colorado 1, are you there? I think people are being dropped off this call, and I agree with Colorado. Colorado too. If everybody could speak when they speak, when when they get done, if they could say over, they, then you know, the next person could speak. Over or out, over or out. Either one of those two. But we need people are dropping out. There's been some sketchy people on these lines asking for information about Brian. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully he reconnects or resets it or whatever. But we need to we need to keep track and have a backup. Question for the host. The host is off, so just just speak your question and and please say over or out when you're done. Roger that. Uh, the question is this: um, There's been a lot of information that's been um, tossed out there in, in the last half hour or so that I've been listening. And my question is, do we have a do we have anybody taking notes at a official forum of information or intelligence on this phone call? Excuse me, is there any activity coming out of Nellis Air Force Base? Activity out of Nellis Air Force Base. Repeat. Can you repeat? Over. No, no other information from any other base coming out of Nellis Air Force Base. Over. No, no information coming. I can tap in and talk. Don't say over. No information. Oh, there's hundreds of people. There's, there's like uh, five or seven hundred people, and most of the people on the ground, they have Hello, people that Military base. I am talking to Ronald Faisal right now. You'll be back in 10 minutes. It's phone died. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're saying. We need information over Nellis Air Force Base. Over. This is Reno, Nevada. There's no activity. I don't know. Hello, can anybody hear me? Or. Reno, Nevada, go ahead. All others. Please so, so hit star six. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. Hello. This is Texas. I have seen you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speak one at a time, hey, people. Hey, hey, hey. This is Reno. I have met Brian. Peter. Going on. One at a time. One at a time. Let the guy hear you. Guys, please mute your phone. Reno, go ahead. Reno, go ahead. We have a rally going on at 1230 at the Carson City Capitol at 1230 tomorrow, Saturday. And we'd like to show a good amount of support there. Over. Uh, we need it. We need information on S Air Force Base. Over. Can I please have the deck, please? Deck is here. Go ahead. Well, I'm glad you guys aren't on the East Coast. Hey, who's who's Brian's friend here? Who's Brian's friend? I am. I am. I just. I'm Brian. I'm Brian's friend. Okay, Brian's friend. Everybody yes. else, star, everybody else, star sixty six, and let Brian's friend call call who gets to come, who gets to speak next. Over. I got. Uh, uh, I got. Uh, Brian, you're all a bunch of damn morons. <laughs> Brian's phone has died. He'll be back in ten minutes. Hey, 
Hello? You know, this is Brian Watkins in Las Vegas, Nevada. Can you hear me? Anyone copy? Hey, this is Brian Watkins in Las Vegas, Nevada. Be advised. Be advised. If law enforcement is listening, I will not, I will not, I repeat, I will not be at my home for the next 72 to 120 hours. So be advised. Be advised. We would do this for the Constitution. We would do this under the maxims of law. We would do this professionally. We would not engage. We will not engage. Do not engage. Do not engage. Do not engage. You do this professionally. We do this by the book. We do this for the maxims of law, which has been in existence for over 2,500 years. And we would do this under God's law. We would not engage at all. At all. Do not engage. Do not give these tyrants an excuse to mess with our unalienable, inalienable rights granted to us by God. We will do this by the book. You can look up anything you want about me on Facebook, B-R-Y-O-N. Hey, I want to know something. Is this phone call being charged to us or you? I have no idea. I just called it. <laughs> Brian, you on here? Conference you son call of a bitch? is free, so chill out. It's a free call. Hey, okay, this is, uh, 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 be advised, be advised. This is Brian Watkins from Las Vegas, Nevada. I just called the number. A friend of mine from Pennsylvania gave it to me, so I called to get involved because I am sick and tired of the tyrannical movements by local, state, and federal officials. I do my work. I study the laws. I study the maxims of law. I study God's law. I study the unconstitutional pseudo quasi de facto. Hold on, we're talking about law. not apply to us. We got logistics going on right now. We need intel from Colorado too. Colorado too. Do you copy? Break, break, break. I'm gonna call Colorado. This is Three. Colorado two. Over. Uh, you got anything yet? Uh, I am continuing to survey. There are no uh, no air traffic occurring at this moment. Uh, I will chime in. I am still oh, surveying, yeah. and uh, you know, according to the last report, you said you got 45 minutes. So uh, if there is anything that we find over, it should be within the next hour. So I will. Yeah, within the next hour, it should be over. So call out to, uh, I'm out. So just chime in whenever you see anything. I, I haven't seen any more activity out for now, but I'm surveying as we speak. And I, and, but there's a little cloud cover, so I think they might be using that to their advantage. I copy that. Uh, we have clear skies here. Uh, excellent visibility. Um, I will right, that, keep my eyes up there. Great, so, because it was a shit storm out here. Excuse my language, but it was a shit storm out to the sky. They were all, every last one, I mean, the helicopters were doing triangle formation, and all the jets were doing echelons. So they're heading westbound at a high rate of speed. In the area. Is there anyone in Kansas that can give visual confirmation of 